Hey what's up guys it's Bifrost here in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to spoof your location in Pokemon Go the easiest method in 2025 for both Android and iOS devices all right guys to get started for today's video we'll be using the i2lab anygo which is compatible with the latest iOS and Android version now i2lab anygo is one of the best location spoofing tools out there that is supported in many games and many social media apps it lets you simulate gps movement real time with the help of features like joystick controls keyboard control teleportation mode spoofing over wifi realistic mode and lot more it is available for all platforms such as windows mac android as well as ios for today's video we'll be trying out its windows version along with that we'll also be using i wear go genius so that we don't get any error 12 issues while spoofing our location in pokemon go let's start setting up any go first so we'll simply tap on the install button and wait until the installation is complete now this video is sponsored by i2 lab but i'll be giving you guys my honest opinions about any go once the setup is complete simply tap on start now next up we'll start the setup for i wear go genius tap on the install button once it has been added simply tap on start now and you'll need to select the game that you want to spoof location in for today's video we'll be going with pokemon go so i have selected pokemon go next up we'll need to sign in with any apple id doesn't have to be your primary id it is just so that i wear go version of pokemon go can be added on your ios device next up you'll need to connect your ios device using any usb cable to your pc once you have connected your iphone select the game that you want to spoof and wait until this process is completed next up you'll get a prompt to enable developer mode on your iphone once this process is complete tap on open afterwards you'll need to trust your pokemon go which has been added by i wear go genius now this is pretty simple just follow the steps shown here and and you should be good to go once this process is complete simply tap on trusted and here we go it is successful now we can now close i wear go genius and continue our spoofing through i2 lab any go before getting started read the disclaimer that this tool is only created for educational entertainment and privacy purposes afterwards we can tap on the start button and select the device that you want to spoof your location in Once you have selected your iPhone you can either use USB connection or Wi-Fi connection it is recommended that you use USB connection for the first time now we can directly launch Pokemon Go on our iPhone and make sure to log in to your Pokemon Go account let's get back to i any go first of all i recommend you guys to tap on these three lines and then tap on the register button and enter your licensed email as well as registration code for i2 lab any go once you have registered your i2 lab any go now we can start spoofing our location directly in Pokemon Go now guys towards the left side of your screen you will be able to see my iphone running pokemon go and towards the right side is the i2 lab any go to start spoofing our location let me directly show you guys the teleportation method which is one of the most useful features of all time i'll simply press the go button and as you guys can see we have immediately teleported our location in pokemon go on my iphone instantaneously without any errors without any issues and this is definitely one of the easiest way to spoof your location in pokemon go in 2025 now another thing which i want to show you guys is the search feature present at the top left bar now here you will be able to enter the location or name any place in the entire world so for example i'll search for new york and we have new york united states city we'll simply tap on go and here we go we have been now successfully teleported to new york in pokemon go in real time all of that in just a single click now once again you will be able to use teleportation features just like i showed you guys before we'll tap on go button and as you guys can see our character will start teleporting similarly the best feature which i actually use on a regular basis is the joystick control which is present right here So basically with joystick controls you can use your keyboard controls W A S D keys to select the position of your joystick accordingly afterwards you can select the speed at which your character should walk so here i have set the speed to 30 kilometers per hour afterwards i'll tap on the play button and as you guys can see our character is now walking with the help of joystick controls in pokemon go you will be able to control the direction using your mouse cursor or you can directly even use your keyboard or d pad to control the direction of your walking now let's say if you want to pause or stop the joystick control you simply tap on the stop button and your character will stop walking similarly we also get a jump teleport mode where you will be able to choose multiple destinations where your character can teleport directly in just a single click so here i have selected three destinations i'll tap on go after which tap on go once again and as you guys can see we have teleported to our first destination afterwards we'll tap on next and now we have teleported to our second destination and so on you will be able to teleport to your final destination with the help of jump teleport mode that is how simple jump teleportation mode works now more than this you also get features such as single spot and multi spot movement 
For example, I'll just go and pinpoint any location that I would like to travel to and then tap on the go button. Now you'll get some options for example realistic mode, distance as well as loop. For today's video we'll go with the default route afterwards select realistic mode and make sure to increase or decrease the speed according to your preferences. Then tap on the go button. Now you guys will be able to see i2lab any go will automatically create a route to your destination and your character should also start walking in Pokemon Go. That's how simple it is guys to spoof your location in any game using the i2lab any go in 2025. Now let's say once again you want to pause your moment. You can simply tap on the pause button and yeah, your character will stop moving. If you want to resume, you can tap on the go button once again. Or if you want to exit, you can tap on the cross button and there we go. Now similar to the jump teleport mode and single spot movement, we also get multi spot movement where you can select multiple spots in the map where you would want your character to walk to, basically creating your own route in Pokemon Go. Once that has been done, we'll just go ahead and tap on the start button and as you guys can see, now your character will travel to the first destination, afterwards travel to the second destination. So basically, in multi spot mode, you will be able to create your own routes. There are more options in i2lab anygo, for example, game mode, also pokestop mode where it will scan all the pokestops that are available near you. You also get the favorite tab where you will be able to bookmark your most traveled location. Anygo also supports multiple device management so you can connect multiple devices and spoof your location on them simultaneously. You also get historical records which keeps a track of all the routes that you have taken previously. So what are you guys waiting for? Try out i2lab anygo today and use the coupon code PLAB30S for 30% discount on any plan. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.